So we're here today with Jane from Helston Community College, who, uh, with her class, has been taking part in the Shelterbox Response Challenge. Yeah. Thank you, Jane, for coming along and, and uh, talking Pleasure. to us about this. Um, I just wanted to ask you, as a teacher, how you found working with the challenge. It was really, really good. We, we, it fitted in beautifully with the, with the scheme of work that we were doing at school, because we had a term of text types. So um, I examined the scheme of work, decided that it was, it was, it was going to work very, very well. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a, you know, this, this group of students who are very, very able. Um, so um, I could be very imaginative myself as a teacher and, sort of, and give, give them lots and lots of, um, you know, sort of um, just throw the tasks at them and let them um, you know, sort of, um, solve problems by themselves. So we started off you know, with, with, the, with the first um, idea of presenting the, the Pakistani earthquake. We watched the video that the Charter, charter Box provide, um, and you know, straight away the children were involved. It was you know, sort of instant, you know, sort of, you know, oh, we want to do this. And we, when we had the yes and no cards, it was going sort of, you know, are we going to respond? Everyone was yes, so it was <laughs> <laughs> no question about it. So it was you know, instantly the children were you know, sort of motivated to do it. We had to make a decision about who we sent the box to, and it was really hard because you've got people's lives in your hands. It's a lot of preparation and decisions you had to make when we did the families and um, the medical aid, and you had to choose who got the tent. It was very hard making the decisions because obviously you wanted to give everyone a tent, but you had to think of who needed it the most. Yeah. Um, as a teacher, um, we got some really, really good, and um, I got some very, very um, good work. Um, we did persuasive writing, we did letter writing to Shelterbox, who very kindly responded to us, which is hence our visit today. Um, we did um, report writing, they wrote newspaper reporters about the disaster that they'd seen on the, on the DVD. Um, so yeah, lots yeah. and lots of, um, and lots of role play. Um, from the logistics point of view, um, the, the, the students responded really, really well to the, the challenge where they had to um, get themselves into groups to get their shelter box out of the country. Teamwork's very important because you need a team to get all these boxes done and like to be able to do it all and them. And if you didn't have a team, you wouldn't be able to do it as fast and save so many. No. Because the children um, are very, very good and they were motivated, they wanted to do it, yeah. we were able to have the chemist shop, the bank, the embassy, you know, the passport people, the post office, and they organised themselves in groups and then had to come to me before they got the authority to get their shelter box out of the country with everything, with, their, with all their documentation. And amazingly, they wanted to sort of have reference to that in their exercise books, so they've all got rupees and passports <laughs> and everything stuck into their exercise books because they found the, the, um, the challenge, you know, so enjoyable, so that was great. Brilliant. Yes. And, and um, did you actually, I mean, just from a practical point of view, did you find um, the online resources easy to use? Oh, was everything? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Very, brilliant. very straightforward. Um, you know, sort of, it was just a question of just looking at what I was having to do, looking at the AV work, you know, sort of, and, and getting you know, you know, my you know, computer and everything set up, which was you know, very, very straightforward, very easy. So, yeah, no problems at all from the practical practicalities. Yeah. Well, Jane, thank you for bringing, bringing the, uh, okay. the students Pleasure. in today. It's been a pleasure to talk yes. to you okay. and to them. Yeah, thank and you. I'm really glad that they've got so much out of this. They have, yeah. So definitely yeah. use it again. I mean, it would definitely yeah. be a scheme of work that I'll be passing on back to, you know, back to onto the rest of my department and hopefully it will be, you know, sort of become, you know, in, you know encompassed, you know, within our... And the great thing as well, just an additional thing, was that it was great that the children showed so much empathy. Uh, we've thought about how families have been broken up because we've read the stories of people that have um, lost their homes and all their possessions. It must have been really hard for them. Yeah, yeah. That was a really, really sort of visual thing to see. You know, sort of when, you know, it was it wasn't just sort of a throwaway response that they made to the to the challenge, especially the last tent challenge. Um, you know, there was real empathy and consideration about what they were going to do, and you know, so that was you know it was very, very good from my point of view to see that characteristic come out in them. Basically, a lifeline for people of all ages and all abilities when they're like when everything's gone. So it's really good. Every bit of equipment that Shelterbox has got in their box is life saving. 